Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, the Frank Rebay bench. We have the usual C64 and this one has the usual black screen yes in it has some uh, output but it's black so let's see what we found inside okay, this is a 251137 revision C and open a delete then there is the TTL uh, clock generator, not the 8501 chip. Check out the bot clock, dot clock, and the uh, color clock are present. Uh, Try to swap the 6569 big uh, chip, but it didn't make any difference. Uh, the big chip generates the CPU clock fine, and the uh, reset signal is okay. No higher cool stack or NMI stack signals. So, there must be something else. Next, uh, checks, uh, of course, uh, check at the power supplies, the these two voltage uh, regulators are fine. And uh, next step will be checking uh, what my list, some signals on the PLA, and see if uh, it's seems to work fine but in this case when uh, probably CPU is not executing correctly uh, some signal on the PLA may be not present but at least with the oscilloscope I will check that no wrong levels and so on on the PLA and so yes I found some problems on the old original PLA uh, pin uh, 12 11 and 10 had not uh, the right levels and so I decided to socket and change this is one of my spare PLA and yes something changed out of memory error in zero means we have to find some bad um, memory chips uh, probably the zero in place of the space is a good clue because uh, the space is 20 in hexadecimal and the zero is 30 so but I'm going to with my memory but I will check on the on the pet uh, she uh, table and see if I'm right if I remember right so this zero will tell me what uh, memory chip I have to change to identify uh, the problem probably but one of the problems uh, have been found so bad PLA so indeed it was 30 the zero against the, the correct 20 in hexadecimal of course that was the space and so there is D4 which is stuck high in some locations and this is U23 so I changed U23 with a good, with a good chip and we have the 38911 basic bytes free so it's time now to run some test programs and see what uh, it tells about this machine. If you see the flash in red you, and you know this program you have, may have guessed that something went wrong but well fortunately not uh, on a bad part I mean uh, there can be worse part that can fail in a C64. One of the CIA is reported as faulty. But I will tell the owner and see what he decides about it. He has to replace at least the PLA and one of the CIA also. 
and I will try one of my uh, spare CIA and see if uh, indeed it uh, is reported as good but anyway this one is not affecting either the keyboard is what you find uh, is not affecting the serial bus because I loaded this program uh, uh, with my 1541 so it may be even safe to leave in place if you don't want to use the user port maybe it's just the user port I will check on the schematic but I guess it may be on the user port so it can be left in place if uh, one doesn't need to use the user port on a C64 for example let's see yes indeed this is U2 and it's connected to the serial port for drive and so on and uh, it is working because I loaded uh, the program via the 50, 1541 and it's connected to the video addressing uh, to bank switch the the big chip memory and also this should be working I will try a demo to be sure and it is connected to the user port via its port B so it's probably that's what filed because uh, we used to hook up many things on the user port and back on the good old days and this one, one of the first thing that uh, failed on a uh, C64 when, when we experimented with things who could on the user port. So I just try uh, de running a demo on this machine to be sure all the bank switching uh, for the video addressing uh, uh, the big chip memory addressing work. Just to be sure. And probably the owner will agree with me because I know he has many other C64 so anyway he can swap the, this chip whenever he wants because it's already socketed in this uh, motherboard so uh, we'll try running a demo on this machine and uh, if everything goes well it's uh, a good repay for me at this point I guess instead of a demo, I will play a bit. Uh, thank you for watching.